Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. This is Pastor Rick with your word for today. Our scripture today is out of Matthew chapter 5. And in Matthew chapter 5, we find that Jesus sat down on the mountainside and began to teach his disciples. And this is what we know, uh, one of our favorite portions of scripture, which is the Sermon on the Mount. And what Jesus was doing is he was taking a few moments to sit down with his disciples and he began to teach them about what it is to have a right relationship with God. And so we're looking at Matthew chapter 5, and I'm referring today to the second beatitude that Jesus was teaching uh, that's found in Matthew chapter 4. And the scripture for today in Matthew chapter 4 is, Blessed or blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. First look at this scripture, it sounds a little bit weird. Why would Jesus say you're blessed if you mourn? Doesn't mourn, mourning have to do with having a tragedy or a loss in our life? Why would we be blessed if we mourn a loss or a tragedy? But on second review, that's not actually what Jesus is talking about. He's talking about spiritually mourning, and mourning our sin is specifically what he's talking about. Have you ever been in a situation where you were trying to nail uh, a nail in and you took the hammer and you actually didn't hit the nail, but you hit your finger? I've done that and that hurt. And what I wanted to do is just grab my finger, dance around the room and uh, scream loudly. Uh, But the second thing I did was think, don't ever do that again. That hurts. I wish I'd never done that. There's another experience I had where I actually said something to a friend that hurt him and offended him. And I didn't realize that at the time, but once I saw the pain on his face that I had offended him and hurt him, that was a hurt and that was a pain that actually hurt me a lot more. You see, when you hurt yourself physically, it hurts, but that's a physical thing which makes it mental. You make a mental note and after I hit my finger and hurt my thumb, What I did was say, okay, Rick, next time you use a hammer, make sure someone else is holding the nail and not yourself because that hurts. But when I hurt my friend with my words, that lasted because that hurt my heart. That was something that stayed with me because I didn't want to offend my friend. I didn't want to carelessly say something that hurt him, but he wasn't the only one hurting because once I realized that, that hurt me. And that's what Jesus is talking about. He's not talking about physical mourning. He's talking about spiritual mourning because it's a heart issue. And he's talking about when we sin against God, that breaks our relationship with him. And that hurts our relationship with him. And that, again, is a heart issue. And that's one thing that we don't want to have to face and that we want to take care of. And the good news is is that when we realize we sin against God, it should bring us to the realization that that is not something I wanted to do. I never want to do that again. And I'm sorry that I hurt God. And I want to make sure that's right. And that's where we find the forgiveness of God who will comfort us. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, He's faithful and He's just and will forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So you see, that's the comfort part. But do you grieve your sin? In the same way I grieved what I had said to my friend and thought, I wish I had never said that. Do you do the same thing? Do you mourn when you sin against God? Do you ever say to God, God, I'm sorry. I wish I'd never done that. I don't want to do that again. And I don't want to sin against you. Would you please forgive me and cleanse me? from all unrighteousness, so that I'm in right relationship with you again. That's the prayer that David prayed. And I ask that you make that your prayer today. That like he did in Psalm 51, say, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. Restore to me the joy of my salvation and renew a right spirit in me. You see, when we confess our sin, when we come to God and say, I'm sorry I did that. I don't want to do that again. Please forgive me. That's where we find God's forgiveness, which leads to joy, which leads to comfort. So I encourage you today, confess your sin to the Lord and restore that relationship the way only Jesus can do in us. 
So that's where the blessing comes, folks. If we, we are blessed when we confess our sins, we mourn our sins, and that's where we find comfort. So I'm asking today that you have a wonderful day filled with blessing and comfort and joy. Have a great day, Calvary.